Are you guilty of using your whole body on a dumbbell row? Or you just want to find a way to make it harder and more efficient for your lat? Watch this All right, guys. A technique I've been tinkering around with dumbbell rows on is rowing with the same foot that I have my front foot with. So whatever foot is forward, rowing with that same arm. And the premise of that is to remove the ability to get momentum, torso, or any torque from my midsection to get the rows up. So, you know, you guys have seen me on this channel bang out 160 pound dumbbell rows off the rack, right? With pretty respectable form. But at the end of the day, is my lat getting optimally worked? And I had to really assess my physique and assess my form, and I think the answer is no. So what I did here, I've been digging into this new form of a step forward dumbbell row that's fully isolating my lat. And what it's done is it's <laughs> dropped my weight in the fucking toilet. And at the end of the day, even though my weights have plummeted, the pump and the sensation I get into that working lat is 10 times better. So to me, now that I have this new form down, I'm nailing it, now I'll start progressing up in weight. So the goal is eventually get back to those 160s, but with this form. And as you all know, in my opinion, if you do that, my lats will be bigger, my back double bicep will be better, and at the end of the day, we bodybuild, that is our goal. So let me show you this form. All right, guys, I'm here on the bench, and I'm bracing my non-working arm on the headrest. Then I'm gonna place my front foot, so my left leg is my lead leg, and I'm rolling with my left arm. So we don't wanna cheat this and miss the stretch. So stretch that lat, then row toward the hip. Stretch, row. So if you watch that form, it's really hard and awkward at first. I can't tell how many times I've banged my quads doing that once I get up to 100 pound dumbbell, which you'll see in a minute. But if you really work on stabilizing, bracing your midsection, not twisting the torso, it feels amazing. Okay, now that I showed you the form and the technique, that needs to stay cognizant and very, 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 very perfect. Do not cheat that, do not twist it, don't get your hips into it. The 60, the 80, and the 100 all look the exact same for me. And that's because it took, shit, I don't even know how many times, how many reps I had to practice this to get confident enough to where I could show you guys on the video. It took a lot of work. And I would like to think that I'm fairly athletic, but this motion was not easy for me. Um, so if you struggle with it at first, don't get discouraged. Keep trying it. Um, I'm telling you, you'll love it once you nail it. So last thing to finish this video up is sets, reps, where to put it in a workout. Um, I really like three different versions. You can do three sets here of volume, like I'm doing on my pump day. Um, so you could do 12, 8, 10, tw you know, 12, 12, 12, 10, 8s, it doesn't matter. Or you can do a top end and a back off. That's what I do on a heavy day with this. So you can place it anywhere within a workout. Um, I personally like it like dead in the middle. So after you've already done some, a straight down pull down, a pull down, and a machine row, this is perfect for my first free weight motion of the day. And by then my lats are pumped and I'm ready to pull load. So if you like this video guys, like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments or concerns or questions, post in the comments below because we respond to every single one of them. And until next time, Christmas TV.